The Tofu by KBD fans is a keyboard I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It cemented itself as a staple in the community, loved by beginners and veterans alike. But what if we modernize this classic keyboard with end game level features? What you're left with is this, the Tofu Special Edition. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to show you guys my newest keyboard purchase, the Tofu Special Edition. During my time in the hobby, the original Tofu has been a case I've worked with many times. Most notably, I use it in my first ever Animec build, the Naruto build, and the recent JoJo's build as well. So when I saw they created the Special Edition, I immediately jumped at the purchase. Let's take a look at what makes this board different from the various other Tofu versions, and what exactly is so special about the Special Edition. Right now, there exist a couple of members of the Tofu family. Disregarding different keyboard sizes, we have the original Tofu, Tofu Junior, Tofu 2.0, and this one, the Tofu Special Edition. I did think it was a bit strange that on the back of the Special Edition, you'll notice it says Tofu 2, despite being named Special Edition on its product page. I do want to make it clear and say that this keyboard is not the same as the Tofu 2.0. The design of the two boards is different, despite their similarities. The Special Edition is certainly the most premium member of the entire family, with all the features and a price tag to match. Before we take a closer look at the Tofu SE, remember to subscribe to my channel. You can find me on other social media platforms like Twitter and TikTok, which I'll leave down in the description. I'll also leave links to all the products I mentioned in this video down there as well. The Tofu SE is currently labeled as discontinued on their product page, but there is a waitlist, so check it out if you're interested. And now, back to the video. The board came packaged in this leather carrying case that perfectly housed everything. Inside are various plates, foams, and other accessories, as well as the case itself. The case is super heavy, and if we disassemble it, you'll immediately see why. The entire bottom is made of brass, and brass is an extremely dense material. Typically brass weights are small bars that screw into the bottom case, but the Tofu SE uses it as the whole bottom, and having so much of it adds a substantial amount of weight. Putting the case on a scale, it reads 4 pounds and 5.9 ounces. And keep in mind this is just the case, not fully built. Let's compare that to a plastic board like my KBD67 Lite, which is only 1 pound and 7.2 ounces. And this half gallon of milk, which comes close at 4 pounds and 7.4 ounces. So if you're wondering how much this board weighs, this is a pretty great frame of reference. There are two plates included with the board, an FR4 plate and a polycarbonate plate. If you're unfamiliar with FR4, it's a PCB-based material. This plate has several flex cuts, resulting in a segmented layout. Of the two plates, I decided to build with this one simply because I'd never used an FR4 plate before. The plate has leaves on it, which are meant for the rubber gaskets. They're simply fitted to the end of the leaves, and will hold the plate in the case once installed. I know that the Tofu 2.0 is also gasket mounted, but again, the cases have different designs, so you can expect different results. The second plate is polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is a material that I've used many times in the past. It doesn't have any flex cuts because the material is already naturally flexible. Generally, polycarbonate plates give deeper sounds than other materials and are usually cheaper. This is the PCB. You'll notice there is a single flex cut going through the middle of the board. It's a little surprising that there isn't more, considering how many the FR4 plate has. 
but I think people are not really interested in flex cuts anymore anyways, so it's not such a big deal. Online, I've seen some people complain that flex cuts are pointless or that they just don't like them. I certainly don't think they're pointless. This board has a great amount of flex to it when fully built, which I don't think is achievable without cuts, though I could be wrong. I'm pretty new to these flexible gasket mounted boards myself, so I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to flex. One thing I do know is that having a daughter board helps further enhance it. And that's because if the USB connection goes straight into the PCB, that creates a rigid point and gives the keyboard an uneven stiffness. By separating the USB connection from the main PCB, the rigid point is eliminated and allows the board to flex unrestrained. The keycaps I decided on are the PBT Fans Black on White set. When it comes to materials, I think that PBT is always going to be superior to ABS. My last build used GMK keycaps, which are made of ABS, and I wasn't happy with them. At first, they were fine and I really loved the design, but after just a couple of months of use, they started to show signs of shining, which I didn't like. PBT is more resistant to shining than ABS, and I just wanted to keep the design simple, so black on white was the obvious choice. I also have a custom laser engraved brass keycap with my logo on it. I got it from Shibui Labs on Reddit, and I'll leave a link to their Instagram page in the description. Originally, I only ordered the escape keycap, but they had a problem with my order and gave me the enter key free of charge. That is some great customer service. The switches I decided to use are the Akko V3 cream blue switches. I already have a review video on these switches, so check that out if you haven't already. Realistically, my choice of switches isn't going to be that important because the Tofu SE is hot swappable, and knowing myself, I'm going to want to change the switches all the time. I just enjoyed the cream blue so much that I wanted to keep using them. There is a small exception though. Because the brass keycaps were so heavy, I decided to use Drop Halo Trues just for the escape and enter keys. They have a strong 100 gram spring that counteracts the heavy brass nicely. In other words, they ended up evening each other out. I am super happy with the completed build. Sure, it doesn't look like anything fancy, but I think there's a lot of charm to the basic design. If the original Tofu is vanilla ice cream, then the Tofu SE is the world's best and most amazing vanilla ice cream. I'm completely in love with this build, and I'm planning on using it as my main board for a while. Before we listen to the sound test, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I wanted to ask you guys how long you wanted my sound test to be. Typically, I use the 15 second setting on monkey type, but if you want 30, 60, or even longer, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.